Kubota VV4160 premium baler. Um, here's a product that comes out of it. It's a 61 in point two inches in height. It's a four by five bale. It makes it very consistently and real tight on the inside. Of course, we can adjust it to get as tight as we want, um, but it makes a real nice, consistent bale. The bale itself is made by Kubota. Uh, Kubota studied this bale quite a bit before, uh, before putting their name on it. They actually bought the factory after five years of, uh, of a trial and trying it out in Kubota. Uh, they don't like to put their name on somebody else's product. They like to build it or own it. And they have, uh, they have done a great job with this. It's a, quite, a, quite a bale. I've had five balers before this, five round balers. And um, there's no comparison. This, this bale is just easy to operate. It, um, it bales at a very fast pace. It bales, it, it cleans up real good, the pickup reel. You might come over here and look at the pickup reel. It, uh, it picks up real clean. It also has some augers to push the hay into the middle. And um, it does an amazing job of picking up a lot of hay, which we're gonna show you in a minute. And uh, it does a really fine job of picking up. It uh, does a good job of maintaining the core all the way to the end of being a good, dense, and tight bale. It wraps it very quickly and you can low, unload the bale in a very short period of time, which is impressive. Um, I like everything about the bale. I've had it now for about two, two and a half years, and it has done uh, an amazing job. Uh, when I ask the Kubota people and the people that developed the bale what to expect as far as problems, they said, really, we haven't had any problems. And I found that very difficult to believe at first since I've had balers and all balers seem to have had a lot of issues. But this baler, once uh, I got on it, and uh, it's like you get on it at the beginning of the day, you bail, and you get off of it at the end of the day. Uh, you just don't have to get on and off the tractor to, to check this and check that. It, it just does its job, it makes it very easy. It bails very quickly. Uh, we're bailing about a bale a minute right now, um, and it's uh, it's an amazing piece of equipment. Uh, I'd like to show you all it in operation. Uh, we have a monitor that gives you a lot of information. You can put it on automatic or manual. On automatic, basically, it tells you what to do. You start bailing, it beeps, gives you a warning signal about 14 seconds later. It beeps again. You stop, back up shortly open the back hatch and the bale comes out you put the hatch down and you're back in business in a very short period of time which is amazing um, i'm just very impressed with the machine um, and uh, i believe that if a person wants to get serious about bailing round bales of hay this is the this is the way to go uh, the co-star of this event folks is of course a kubota tractor and here we have a 9960 which has uh, previously been replaced by the M5 uh, 111, but the 9960 is the tractor we have here, which is just about three or four years old. It's a fine tractor. Um, I like everything about it. It has a 12-speed transmission and um, a very economical, smooth-running engine. The air conditioner blows very cold. It has a very nice front-end motor, easy, quick attach. Um, bucket as well as a quick attach load. So um, why don't we come on in and I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all watch me bail a bail and then when after I come around again I'm gonna have uh, my videographer Mr. Matt uh, get in the tractor and kind of watch the monitor and see things. So if you excuse me a minute I'm gonna get get started. Y'all can hear the engine start and I'm gonna crank up and you'll see me go. I'm traveling at about 6.3 miles an hour and it's pretty thick headed. 